Now we will see how to prepare specimens for the splitting tensile strand test and capillary water absorption test using injectability apparatus. We will use two solid rubber stoppers, size four, cylindrical container, approximately 80 millimeter in diameter and 175 millimeter high, a 100 milliliter graduated glass cylinder, thermometer accurate to within one degree centigrade, adhesive tape, a pen to mark the columns, and a tile saw with a plexiglass cutting blade to cut columns from a transparent rigid plastic tube with 22 millimeter inner diameter and around 1.75 millimeter wall thickness. Using a tile saw, cut the transparent plastic tube into 300 millimeter long columns for the splitting tensile strand test and 320 millimeter long columns for the capillary water absorption test. First, place the empty column on the stand. Attach the bottom rubber stopper connected to the flexible joining tube and then the top one connected to the overflow tube. Next, secure the column and the bottom stopper using the adhesive tape. Pour 500 grams of grout into the test container. Now place the container in the pressure vessel and close the lid of the vessel. Turn on the compressed air supply with the ball valve on the flexible tube closed and adjust the pressure in the vessel to 0.05 megapascal. This is a lower pressure than that used in the injectable test since there is no back pressure created by granular material. Check the vessel for leaks. If the pressure in the vessel decreases, release the pressure. Open the vessel leak, reclose it, and repeat the previous step. Open the ball valve on the flexible tube. Filling the column should begin within four minutes after the completion of mixing. Continue injection until the column is full and grout has reached the bottom of the top rubber stopper. Close the valve on the flexible tube and release the pressure in the vessel. Next, remove the column from the stand. First, place the top solid rubber stopper and tape it and then turn the column upside down and place the second solid rubber stopper and tape it. Label the column and store it vertically, ensuring that the bottom of the column during the injection remains the bottom during storage. Finally, clean the injectability apparatus.